Here in section two, we're going to talk about how we identify the uncertainty contributors. And as I talked about in the beginning, this is really the most crucial part of, of estimating measurement uncertainty. You may recall that I said that if we can successfully identify the, the three largest contributors, then our uncertainty budget will be as accurate as it can be if we obviously do the, the numbers right once we've identified them. But if we cannot identify those three major contributors, then our uncertainty budget really doesn't stand a chance of, of really expressing how good or how bad our measuring process is. And this is the part that, that usually is not covered when people write about and teach estimating measurement uncertainty. It's, it's sort of as if, well, we have this measuring process and we have this list of contributors and now we're going to do all the math. Um, but my, my strong experience in, in, in working in the field and, and in having evaluated uncertainty budgets and, and, and how uncertainty claims from, from laboratories have worked out, it is usually because there is a significant contributor missing if, if the uncertainty budget is, is not at least close to what it should be. Of course, there can also be, be some, some, some math errors, but, but it's usually from, from missing a contributor. So, so that's really a very important part of uncertainty estimation. The way that I propose that you do this is that in the material, there is a, um, a page with, with what we call the, the circle of uncertainty contributors. And it is from a standard called ISO 14253 part two. And the idea is that it, it gives you 10 areas where you might look and, and, and where you consider whether there are uncertainty contributors to take into account. And the idea is that you, you use it as kind of a, a brainstorming tool and, and in the beginning, as you, you do uncertainty estimation, I, I usually recommend that, that you sit down with some colleagues and, and work through this so you can sort of bounce ideas off each other and uh, come up with this list of contributors that, that, that you're going to work from when you estimate the uncertainty. And as you know, there, there are the brainstorming rules, you know, the, there are no bad ideas and, and, and we can criticize each other and, and that applies here as well. So in, in the brainstorming phase, we, we just try to get as complete a list as possible. Whether we are sort of saying the same thing several times, that is not a concern here. In the next step, we're going to consolidate the list and, and take a critical look and make sure we're not double counting. But for now, we want to have the 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 brainstorming process to have as complete a list as possible to work from. And the idea is that we focus on, on one area at a time from this list of contributors. And, and so you can see graphically, it sort of shows all these 10 areas and with the arrows that sort of show, they all influence that, that uncertainty of the measurement that, that we're working on. 